All right, folks, thank you so much for sticking through, uh, I guess, the technical aspects of that. We got Wrath and Marvelous Marco here in top eight. This is going to be uh, best of five for the winner's semis right now. Marco's going to be looking to do something that no other player has really done, and that is deal with Wrath's ability to mix up pressure and patience as uh, really characterizes play so far in bracket today. Yeah, honestly, it's best of five, too, so it's going to be a little bit different. Markle's game plan has to remain the same, right? Stop my opponent's movement, get him with my aerials, have have him deal with something. But Wrath, man, he's just a whole different player. And Sonic's tools, he's well familiar with the tools that Sonic has, even from Smash 4. So we'll see. Oh! That was really fortunate for Marco to get that slight last hit, but Wrath still able to pull his way back to stage. One of the big things that Wrath's goal is to make sure that he can keep Marco to like one or two projectiles only out at once. Because the more things that Marco can throw in the Wrath's path, even if they don't uh, necessarily hit Wrath, the harder it is for Wrath to get in. Oh wow. my God, what a confirm from Marco. Woo! That's the kind of start you really want to have if you're Marco right now against Wrath. It was good too. Look at where he put Boomerang. Covering the low recovery angle. And then just meet up Sonic in there. You don't want to give Sonic all that time. Right on Marco to look at his shield. And then just walk away. <laughs> that wasn't walk. He was like, I'm going to run away from this. Yeah. <laughs> no, but so still funny. look. like He would have got a shield broken. Shield poked. Those are two situations you don't want to be in. And Marco understands. I want to hold this lead as much as possible. Ooh, just a good grab by Wrath. Wrath's been really just showing how much of like a, you know, Brawl Smash 4 veteran he is by virtue of getting all of these like really um, tightly knit grabs. Like that's another one right there. You wouldn't think, oh, I can just grab off that. But Wrath knows much better. I thought that bomb was actually active. It was going to hit him right now. Right there. Marco right now. I'm trying to keep Wrath off stage. Not quite working out, but still. Oh uh, yeah. With Raph, but... Marco is taking his time as he should, man. He's got a pretty good lead, 163. Since of the boomerang right here, good on, yeah, good on the up air oh. to just try to cover that. But man, Wrath had already landed. I think Wrath had eventually evaluated, like, okay, taking the boomerang isn't that bad. Let me land here and get him out first. Because the up air is what's going to really do damage to me more. Marco's ability to just like react and recognize certain knockback situations is. It makes him so peerless when it comes to tuning play. Four throw, nice. Wow, great aggressive forward air too. Immediately before Marco gets the chance to react, Rath has slowly brought this back. Marco on the landing here. Missed forward smash boomerang in play though, but oh. nothing of it just yet. And Marco really needed that one. To just keep a hold of this lead the way he's been doing so far. Yeah, Rath right now is changing pace, changing tack, sitting back. And Marco likely feel nervous about his stock lead. Oh. Essentially, that's just that. That's the thing. Oh, nice! Marco finally actually gained a position, winning position battle there. Gaining that up air, sneak under wrath, take that stock. Yeah, Marco still. In the Whoa! Oh. Did you see that up weird air? interaction? A wrath managed to take advantage of that though. I feel like, ah, oh man, this definitely, I hate to talk about the music one more time, but man, this music, mm, <laughs> putting me to sleep. Jesus, man. Wrath, waking it. up, though. Yeah, it's not it, bro. It's not it, Chief. This is not what I, what I would fight my opponent to. I'd have something a little bit more upbeat. I can't I'm imagine bad. a serious boxing match to, like, the saddest, slowest song in this world. It's all there with the homie attack. Wrath now got Mark in a bad spot. Mark has to figure out somebody to get back to stage. Just does. And you see he leaned back the last couple of hits, multi-hits of the up B. 
but Raph's also right now playing positional on like somebody who knows he's got his prey cornered. Yeah. Marco needs to cook up some kind of new genius tactic that's just gonna make us all go, huh, what? <laughs> <laughs> we this one. Well, that's the thing, too. It's being quick on your feet, but also quick in the mindset, too. Like, Marco yeah. knows where he has to have and position himself around Wrath, but also his ability oh, to just try to make yeah. up combos or anything as at, at will or as it happens. It's going to be how he has to handle things here. Wrath sees there's blood on the water, man. He sees that 125. He's essentially brought this war of attrition to where he wants it to be, and now it's up yeah. to Marco to see if he can turn things around because... Wrath knows, man. I get him with one back air, one back throw, one forward air, anything at this point, one up air. It could spell certain death for Marco. You know Marco just wants to rush right at him with an up air, but good grab by Wrath. Got Marco deep in bad territory. Oh, the Yeah, the bomb. He's got, got, got the bomb. He's got the bomb still, so yeah. That could be it for Marco. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That range, Wrath. man. Oof. Wrath of the expert. Uh, spot calling here with a big ass smash. Gonna take game one. Marco had a pretty sizable lead to start things off there, and Wrath, like you said, Vance, just made it, slowed it down, made it very much a war of attrition, and managed to start eking out more and more of their interactions in order to pull away and win. Yeah, honestly, it's the war of attrition here is pretty 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 strong i think wrath just knew like slow things down to a pace that's fine if i have to slow down too that's because i'm also essentially evaluating my opponent that's one thing that sonic can do remember sonic can cancel spin dash like he has ways to just stop himself from moving with spin dash so he could essentially just look at how marco is and bait him out but also yeah that forward smash it's crazy it actually comes from sonic the fighters and even in that game it's got some ridiculous <laughs> range Actually, I think like some of Sonic's moves are all based off Sonic the Fighters, which was like the only, it was like the first Sonic fighting game. All right, now this is more upbeat. This is what I want to hear, man. This is the kind of music yeah. I want to hear when two players scrap it out, whether it's timing each other out or trying to play the guessing game, but better music is definitely already on play. All right, dash tag forward air. Great aggression here for Marco. 82 forward smash oh, to even man. stop the hit all the way through. Man, having that small disjoint of a sword working wonders there, especially against that. Oh, yeah. Sonic has to get in, so it doesn't really matter that Toon Link has a really limited range, but still being a rolling ball of Butcher Knight, as Marco has more than enough tools in order to make Wrath's um, attempt to win very, very difficult. Yeah. Oh, what a great way to run all the way through and try to get that sneaky back throw and then have Boomerang cover that. Marco making the plays that he needs to as much as possible, but forward smash. You see him wind it up and not able to get it through. Wrath breaking through here. The a little bit of patience. So far is that Wrath's been just that slight step ahead when it comes to close quarter situations. Yeah. When Marco wins in the mid range. You see Marco win, but as soon as Wrath gets in or uh, Marco whiffs slightly close, Wrath is really doing game busters and patient enough to avoid the multi-hit with the hero spin gonna take it with a big down air or a down tilt kill the thing about mid-range is you cover oh what a great execution there from marco the thing about mid-range too is you cover pretty much a decent set of all bases problem is sonic is one of those characters that can be close range and long range and it sounds crazy when you think about the long range too because the long range is just basically Sonic coming in from the distance, yeah, essentially, <laughs> and bringing it to close range. But that's the thing. He has the abilities to play that distance. And now it's just all up to stamina. Wrath is the veteran level kind of player where it comes to, I can do this all day, man. That, that's his mentality. He's Captain America and... Uh, the first Avenger, I can do this all day. Can Marco match his stamina and keep this up? The crazy thing, too, is when it comes down to it, 
it's not only the, the mental stamina against your opponent, but it's your mental stamina as the player, too. Because you will eventually have to exhaust your ideas of resources, your combos, your percents. And eventually you might have to think on the fly. Or essentially just ask yourself, all right, what more can I do to break through here? And that's been the answer for Wrath against Marco. And again, Wrath, so smart, recognizing where to put that fair to just extend that advantage sequence. And that's the thing, Sonic, unlike other characters, if you lose out on advantage state, it's not like the whole, like, play slow plotting in Cinderor. Let me tell you, man, when I feel like I lose out on advantage state because I wasn't able to capitalize, it feels like the end of the world. Sonic, okay, cool, I can go dash, hang out for a minute, and I'm back in advantage state. Again. Yeah, and even that's then, look at the, the way character. that he can, he can also stall himself out with spin dash and just wait to punish. He has the ability to just bait you out and then punish you for being, for whiffing something. And he can close that gap pretty fast. I mean, he is literally the fastest thing in the world and the oh, fastest thing in this game. Wow, Marco, what a back throw, but not enough. Marco getting rewarded for such a good pattern recognition with a throw that doesn't kill, even though it really should. <laughs> this is so unfortunate. But still, you know, reach out, get that up there, and Marco still has a chance here to take this game. He just needs to figure out what the answer is to Wrath's pressure. The answer is to Wrath's CQC game. Oh, no. Oh, man. Wrath was looking for the kill there. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I gotta get Marco. He's, he's having fun with it, man. He's having fun. Yeah. If you're having fun, man, you're still effectively winning in some form or another. Because if you're not and you're frustrated and you're mad, you might be mashing those buttons in the wrong way. It's, it's so funny just being a fan of Marco's stream. I can basically hear him in my <laughs> I hear his voice right now. Voice they did. <laughs> oh, good step back. F tilt, but Wrath with the, the up to get out again. Sometimes you oh. oh no! Oh. That would be up here in the spyglass. Oh, I don't want to do this again. Sometime. I'm sorry, Sonic. That hurt. <laughs> yeah, that was uh. Wrath was in Marco's head. As much as I was talking about hearing Marco in my head, that was Wrath being like, Jim, I'm right there. <laughs> yeah. Man, don't count me out. Just because you're in the skies doesn't mean I can't meet you up there, man. Sonic is a fan of that up air. And that was the last up air to do at that. Where, man, Wrath is up 2-0 so far. Marco's got one more game. We talk about this, man. Top 8 is all best of 5. Marco's got this last game, man, and it's do or die. And we'll see if Marco can even put a point on the board. This is going to be a 3-0 for Wrath. We're going to have the run back to PS2. Marco likely thinking that it might not be a stage-specific thing that he just needs to figure out the matchup. Figure out what Wrath wants. Right. I see every time Marco starts to get some kind of momentum, at least in game two and now in game three, Wrath is picking just the right perfect option to get out of dodge. Right. Sonic, for all intents and purposes, has about I would say maybe like a mid-level disadvantage state. Not amazing, you know, you know like DSS flip kick out of disadvantage kind of, kind of things going on, but also not bad. Yeah, it's it's honestly more compromisable to like how well you can use your spin dash to like. All right, cool. I'm in disadvantage. Let me wait to try to get back to advantage. Let me, like I said, it is a lot of bait and bait and punish too. So eventually, you just have to go back to being in bait. For your opponent, it's how much can I hold Sonic in play, and for you to figure out, can you run the obstacle course? Can you get around all projectiles, or you get your opponent's advantages or arsenal? And I think for Wrath, just being that veteran player all the way from four, it goes to show what edge he has over a character like Marvel's Marco and Toon Link. Marco is getting some, I mean, he's getting some hitboxes in, he's getting, he's been able to box with Wrath to some degree, but oh. just, Wrath is just getting so much more when he gets in. That's, that's yeah. really the story of this. It's that bait and punish. Like, all right, cool. I see where the boomerang is. I see where you're at the ledge. You're still at disadvantage. All I have to do is just bait out that boomerang, bait out your hit. And then I got, I got mine. Can you get yours? That's the question for Marco here. He's got the setup there with the boomerang. 
A little bit of a play here. You know that Wrath can make that deep recovery here, but that's great coverage with Hero Spin. Not enough, though. He's throwing out the boomerang. He's throwing out the bomb, and Wrath's still able to come back and use that homing attack to even get around the second return of boomerang. I mean, if you're Marker, you have to ask yourself, what do I have to do to kill us, man? Right? <laughs> I just it feels so hard. But there you go, Marco. And the taunt, because he's feeling himself. Let's go, Marco. You love to see that. Yeah. it's. I think that's the one thing that makes Marco a little bit stronger than some players. He has a decent level. I wouldn't even say decent. He's got a pretty strong mental strategy in his head. I have to keep my head oh, in the game. No. Oh, early hero spin. Yeah, oh, that forward man. smash, man, it just sticks out so far. And, and, and Wrath, unlike other Sonic mains, almost rarely ever shows his face when it comes to just you know, F-smashing in certain situations. He's so good at pulling out the, like, just the, the one-time use grounded options. Look at the sequence from Wrath, too. Absolutely putting the boots to Marco. He's going to go out deep. He gets the spring. <gasps> as a, Marco, no, Marco, uh, no. Marco, Marco never had the bomb. I think any opportunity was there to try to input bomb. Uh, Raph had a hitbox out. Man, that was, we didn't even get a chance to really even get into that last stock. Raph was like, all right, now I'm, 